In this section, we're going to talk about Rustup and Cargo, parts of the toolchain, or rather, toolchain and toolchain manager, that support building programs with the Rust language and ecosystem. In this video, we'll cover installing and managing Rust toolchains with Rustup. So, Rust actually has multiple release channels. There's the stable channel, the beta channel, and the nightly channel. Stable and beta releases are made every six weeks, so when stable, for example, 1.4 comes out, beta 1.5 comes out, and when beta 1.5 is promoted to stable 1.5 in six weeks, beta 1.6 comes in and starts being tested. There's also the nightly channel, which is released every single day and always has the latest features, plus some features that aren't quite done yet and so are only enabled on the nightly channel, even between releases. To install Rust for your system, I can't walk you through this because it's different on every system, but it's very simple. Just go to this URL on screen, that's rustup.rs, and it will present you with instructions for how to install Rust on your system. If you have any issues, there's a great user forum and troubleshooting section at the users.rustlang.org forum. So let's talk a little bit about the release channels. Stable is the production-ready version of the language. It is recommended for almost every project because it's guaranteed not to have breakage. Beta is pretty much like stable, but it hasn't been tested as thoroughly yet, and while it does include some newer features, it can be buggy. It's best, if there is a feature on beta that you really need for your project, to either develop it in beta but not release it until the stable comes out, or just wait the six weeks for stable to come out. Nightly, releasing every single day, is untested, effectively, but it does contain lots of cutting-edge features that some projects need. We'll talk about this later, especially when looking at web frameworks. So why do this? It seems really confusing. And it may seem odd to install a piece of software just to manage the version of another piece of software. But it actually makes things far easier in the long run. And that's what Rustup does. Once you've installed Rustup, you can use it to manage your toolchains.